Hey morning guys, it's going to be some new adventure, it's going to be huge adventure guys, so it's nice to see you again on my channel, it's your channel about life in Canada, and today we're going to explore Quebec actually guys, but before we're going to explore Ottawa, so it's going to be like one trip and it's, it should take us I believe like about four or five days, so it's going to be I believe a couple of videos which guys you can actually Take a look on my channel and I hope it's going to be fun for you. So please enjoy. And yeah, we got some raining day. Anyway, it's going to be a good mood and it's going to be funny, I believe. So stay tuned guys and nice to see you again on the channel. Hey folks, it's first stop for today and of course it's Tim Hartons. Just staying right in front of uh, this Tim Hartons. Why? Because I need my second coffee and it's it's car adventure. I need to be yeah, I need to be full of energy. To be able to handle it so all this trip like about actually ottawa and uh, montreal as i mentioned and we're going to spend like about two days in ottawa and then three days in montreal so that's why it's going to be interesting experience i believe and something to share with you guys we're going to visit a bunch of interesting places where the best places to try some food and like what to explore some entertainments and everything I'm going to left under each video you will find some links useful links and you can do the same in your personal journey so yeah guys stay tuned hey guys actually I shouldn't I shouldn't be saying it's small city because actually it's like 170 thousand people in here it's not a small definitely so I didn't visit as I said but actually what you can see in here, you should, you should, I believe, uh, consider to visit something like ski resort in here in, in the winter time and especially waterfront and probably like this adventure park is pretty famous in here and in Oshawa on this side. So something to visit guys. And here yeah, we're headed to Belleville, not sure if I'm saying this correctly and we're going to, yeah, I need some gasoline um, that's why we're making like another stop. And the last one for today should be Ottawa. And yeah, guys, stay tuned. Thank you for watching this one. Please consider consider subscribing to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you like it when I'm sharing this experience. Like making some luck for you. And it's like it's our life, and it might be interesting for you if you consider this uh, country to live, for example, like GTA or something. So yeah, guys. Hey friends, just for the history, it's May 5th and it's about positive 14 I believe right now. So it's not extremely warm, it's a pretty foggy day. But it was pretty such a cool experience by the way to, to, to drive, you know, through all this fog. It's some kind of mysterious, I don't know, I, I love this. And it wasn't like too warm because it wasn't too much sunny today. And this is Belleville, just uh, right um, over here. And you see like some kind of nice, nice building. And if you didn't know, like just this is Lake Ontario in here, and it, this is Prince Edward, by the way. Yeah, we've got here Prince Edward in here in Ontario. And the next stop is going to be last last one for today is going to be Ottawa. And I believe I'm going to do some quick, uh, quick review about our hotel where we're gonna stay. And right now we're going to grab some gasoline. It's going to be Shell. Hey guys, let me know what kind of gasoline are you using here in Canada. I would prefer to go with Shell. Before it was Petro Canada, it wasn't a good experience for me in terms of how this application is working. I'm like web developer and I love to, to have a good application, you know. And in Shell, it's the better way how it's working for me. First reason, and it's normal price. And you know what I should say, like the best gasoline what I've tried so far here in Canada. And yeah, I don't know, I just, I can feel it, you know, like when you drive and you can feel if it's good gasoline or no. For me, it's 91st. And yeah, guys, stay tuned. So guys, pretty unexpectedly, we're making some stuff for extremely important reasons. <laughs> because like this is LCBO in here, just right next to this highway and some police department just in here so we like one hour away from Ottawa you know what I should say like for this road it's it's a highway it's speed limitation about 80 kilometers per hour like it and it's so curved you know you can move fast and but it's like with magnificent view everywhere like a bunch of woods something like in here but much better I should say and yeah why do I need LCBO because 
I've got like three coffee and it's too much for me, you know, too much adrenaline in my blood. So I probably need to take some rest today evening and grab some beer in here. I love some German beer. So it's going to be, I believe, black dub. And yeah, something like some, some kind of European beer because I'm from Europe, so I love Euro European beer. And yeah, guys, almost in Ottawa. Hey, hey guys, so we finally made it. It's almost, I believe, 7.30 and we just uh, checked in here and yeah, the whole trip last took us, I believe, like about 8 hours, almost 8, uh, eight hours. Why it took us so long? Yeah, it's possible to make like in 6 hours, but uh, we used, to, see, we used to, to keep it like simple, you know, just making a bunch of stops, it plus it was, I believe, it was around like 4 stops, because actually yeah, we travel like with this huge guy who just turned six years and yeah that's the way how we're doing it and yeah we just am just two minutes in here and this metal holder this is one of the best actually every time you know like this holder and so what we got we got some tv got some microwave unexpectedly pretty pretty much for us like some coffee machine with some coffee of course it's like some fridge i believe like yeah, it's absolutely empty and yeah, kind of, kind of nice place. Let's yeah, let's make it a bit a bit more beautiful, you know, guys. So yeah, like just check this out. It's two queen size beds in here, so it should be pretty useful for us because like a family of three. And yeah, guys, we're just going to grab some food because actually I'm like starving, and maybe we'll try to find some Mexican food and just enjoy this evening. Some cool feature of this suit, you know, see, this is like connected room. <laughs> like I have never seen like this, like something like this before, you know, guys. So this connected room actually like for another, another uh, suit in here, you know how it's working. And so this beautiful lady on the first floor, like she told, she told us, um, a receptionist, I mean, she told us like it's, about 40% now occupied here, this in overall, in this hotel, so it should be, I believe it should be empty. Anyway, just like ch check this out, how it's working. Like, it's possible to open up, you know, and it's like another room in here. <laughs> like, but it should be, in terms of privacy, it should be okay, because uh, I believe they also need to do the same and open up this door from another side. That's how it's working. It's actually possible to go like in here, you know, like to, to move like back and forth from here. <laughs> so yeah, it's not possible to interrupt your sweet dreams, you know, when you're sleeping, just to go <laughs> and say hello. So I was used for the next two nights and we go to explore Ottawa actually, guys. So yeah. <laughs> So guys, so so far so good. This this uh, suit actually fine. You know, I should mention like this uh, smart TV. This is this is pretty cool for us because it's already like with the, with the internet, you know. And for my son, he can try to find some cartoons. Like we don't need actually my laptop or something with HDMI or something, some connection. Of course, I've got my laptop in here because uh, <laughs> I used to have my laptop with me. And yeah, guys, so with, what we've got here, we've got here a pool, we've got here some gym, and we've got here the breakfast included already, you know, guys. And it's something to explore tomorrow. And yeah, guys, something is, I just, so this is like, you know, this window, it's uh, working like partly. I can open, I don't know why, but it's, I can open it from here in the bottom side, but it's not working on the top. At the same time, you see it's open it and it's, it's open it in here. But for some reasons, it's just not working fine. So, because I want to, to get some fresh air and it's possible to open it. By the way, in a bunch of hotels, it's not possible to even open, but here it's possible. 
and it's not working and you can't turn off your AC like it's it's just working every time and I believe it's going to work on like overnight I don't like to to have air conditioner working overnight so in some cases it's just it may be noisy and it's maybe not a, you can you can set the proper temperature but it may be just noisy you know and I'm not used to do it at my home the same I'm trying to find the hotel but it's not an option sometimes hey hey guys so about this uh, road some some feature about this adventure actually it's first of a time when we with my family here in Canada travel traveling so long like for almost eight hours for us it was like about two three hours not more so yeah this first time like with, when we driving so far and it's kind of new experience for us my new discovering like today i didn't know like canada working this way so you don't have any highway like between all this like huge cities like ottawa and toronto uh, this highway like 401 you will get only around toronto and gta and the same we got here pretty similar like near ottawa but all this distance in between you will get like some type of highway like trans trans canada i believe it's called and with speed limitation about 80 kilometers per hour but it's a bunch of folks driving I, I saw like 100 at least sometimes in one in ten so I'm not used to do this way because I'm trying to keep rules you know if it's saying like 80 kilometers so I will I will I will try to drive as close as possible to this number actually to to get it more safe you know to get more safe environment around us so not sure why they're doing this like 110 and 80 it's like 30 kilometers different difference. So I'm not going to judge anybody. You can drive whatever you want. This is your life, but be careful. You also responsible for lives. Everybody around us. When we drive, we actually like one community. You know, guys, it's like you're responsible for everybody around. So yeah, something to keep in mind. And yeah, guys, let's grab some food because I'm just traveling. So guys, I hope you still you can see me, it's pretty dark in here, it's like about 8.30 p.m. So we just staying right in front of uh, Mucho Burritos, guys. And we just tried these burritos. So I love Mexican food, the same for my wife. And usually I go ahead with burritos with uh, white bread and with beef barbacoa. It's kind of awesome, guys. It's so, so lovely food in here, Mexican food. So I don't know, like, if it's good, like in overall, because I'm pretty new in Mexican food. Thank you so much, Ernesto. Not sure if you watching my video like sometimes, but he just, he like from Mexico and he suggested me some places to try in Montreal. Mm -hmm. But I didn't ask about Ottawa, so I'm not sure what kind of good place to try the Mexican food in here in Ottawa. I hope it was good. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah don't 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 judge me if it's uh, not a good place so i should say it's okay not the best one in my life in terms of getting burritos good burritos but uh, yeah this one was, was pretty good as always my lips just in uh, everything in spice you know and it's like yeah it's pretty spicy for me but 
but for you i believe it should be just okay and just i have uh, like zero tolerance to spicy food like i like it all and yeah guys we're just heading back to the to hotel and i believe we're going to wrap up this video for today and yeah just guys i will see you tomorrow and we're going to explore this ottawa finally <laughs> danny what are you wearing on the head <laughs> Hey, hey, good morning, guys. I'm just having my morning coffee just from this breakfast in here. And I should say it was it was pretty decent in this hotel. So actually, you know, a couple of my findings here in Canada. It's my second hotel here in Canada, like in overall. And what we discovered with my wife. So actually, we, we were surprised actually to get this like paper plates, you know. And I didn't know why it's working this way. And I still I don't know why it's working this way because in Europe you will get like normal plates like in the restaurants you know I'm not getting this idea I believe it's probably just uh, more useful for, for the hotel to use like paper plates but yeah it's uh, actually it's like absolutely different experience when you eat something from paper plates or like from normal plates so it's it's okay absolutely no problem and so yeah guys usually I wake up like in at 6 a.m. and I'm I'm reading some books. And it's like, for me, it's like me time. And once I'm starting to do this, it's actually like my, my life divided on before and after. You know, I've got so much time for just myself to, I don't know, to, to improve myself, to learn something new. It's working wonderful for me. And yeah, guys, just right now we're going to explore, I believe, this uh, Parliament Hill here in, in Ottawa. And like the most famous one, it's must have to visit. We're going to grab some food, I believe. And yeah, guys, it's going to be a new interesting day. Hey guys, quick review about this pool. It's actually like extremely warm here, like some kind of wet. It's a high humidity environment here around pool, but it's, it's understandable. It's pool, but it's too warm for me. It's okay. I I, I don't like like pool like at all. I, I used to to swim like in open water, like something like lake, sea, like ocean. You got the point, I believe. So, but my family is just enjoying this, it's just having really fun. And it's good even for my son, like he's trying to swim in here to, to learn how to swim. And actually like having a fine time here, guys, and see like nobody in here. See? It's absolutely specifically for us, you know, like, <laughs> like privacy and everything. So actually, yeah, it's something I just wanted to share with you. So we've got a gym, we've got this pool, shower, a couple of towels, like it's for free, so you can grab and you should be handy for you. And yeah, guys, we, we're almost ready to start exploring this Ottawa. Just, guys, please stay tuned. It's, it's going to heaven, I, I promise you guys.
Hey guys, we just found a astonishing viewpoint to this river, like it's next to Brown Hill. You can find this canal just right uh, on the right side of me. So, yes, it was a bit challenging to find some parking space, like some issue in here, I believe, like it's almost impossible to find something, but we were able to, to, to get it done. And I'm gonna share with you some parking space, which I just use in here, and some application, which you can download, and actually you will not have this problem, I believe. So I'm gonna show you a couple of places where you can park your wheels. And yeah, guys, check this out. Yeah, this is really Must have to visit place. Hey friends, another good spot to share with you, just this astonishing view from here. It's just magnificent, guys, it's so beautiful. Because I, I know I love like, like to see some kind of water, like river, like bridges, some, something like in here. So you can find washroom just right, just right un, uh, underneath. In here you, you can find a washroom. And just for orientation you can check. See, this is, should be your orientation, like how to find the spot. Hey friends, in overall, it's like a definitely iconic place and people uh, living here are just blessed to have this one. You can walk around here, like like today we've got so sunny days, like a positive 20 and even, or even above. And yeah guys, it's such a good weather, first ever time in here, Parliament Square. And don't forget to check this out, this point, what I just shared with you, to take a look, to hold this magnificent view. I believe you should be happy about this. So now we're heading to find some coffee and yeah we got only two hours limitation for parking so probably we should grab our car and go to another place Friends, in each Canadian city we're trying to visit market. It's just must have to visit every time for us. And I'm finally recommend to do the same for you every time. 
in this market you can find some local stuff like some usually it's, it's uh, okay price so it was some iconic place i believe where obama's once show up and just bought some cookies that's why they're just trying to sell you some obama cookies because <laughs> it's like that how they're doing this business it's pretty funny by the way but yeah good place to visit we spent like about 20 bucks for, for my family for my entire family it was like you got a couple of coffee I can't say it was a good coffee for me, it was like too much water, so yeah, but my, my wife told me she, she was, it was pretty okay, so yeah, some place to visit. I just want to share with you my dream so I've got like this guy at our rental house everything like like this section you know but I don't have this <laughs> I, do, I have nothing except of this guy and I've got this like see it's 595 price but actually I've got this like about I paid I believe like 400 bucks so it was pretty good nice pretty good deal and I'm just dreaming I mean, about like this stuff behind me, all these tables and all to have this, but it's like sweet dream, you know, guys. And yeah, just guys, want to mention this uh, section, like as is. Sometimes you can find pretty nice deal in here and with a good price. And actually, pretty unexpectedly, we we just arrived to an IKEA to grab some food, and we heading back to downtown. And, and I'm going to share with you a couple of more nice places with you guys. So stay tuned. So another place to share with you, friends, it's Rideau Falls Park, just right over here. And some small parking lot just for free, which you can find just uh, in front of this uh, friend's embassy. Some free parking space, like for about 12, maybe 15 vehicles, like not more. And in here, this actually this Rideau Waterfalls and just yeah like a stunning view you will get for all this actually area and you know guys just i forgot to mention actually this is already quebec on another side and i'm here i'm stay, staying of course on ontario side so yeah another good spot give me a thumbs up if you like it when i share it with you these places and subscribe to my channel it's going to be a bunch more interesting video i i am actually like guys editing for you On the surface, I look fine. My brain feels heavy, my traumatized mind. And I'm so tired, I can't feel my eyes. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh. I'm petty, but I know how to lie. I feel feelings that I can't describe. I'm not breathing, but I'm still alive. Whoa, oh. Guys, this is just amazing place to share it. It's so powerful, amazing guys. Hey, folks, this place like definitely like 10 from 10. Like my personal favorite so far, and you will get this stunning view from here. Like this some point view. I don't know. It's probably the best place maybe here in the Ottawa because it's it's kind of so powerful when you stay in just uh, right. Uh, right in front of this waterfall. So yeah, friends, no hesitation, like definitely must have to visit this place. You will not regret, guys, not regret, because it's actually, it's a good, it's a good place. Just check this out, everything, like. Why do I still have hope? So many days have passed. I wait around for things to change, but change has not come fast. I'm asking all the questions, but then I question them. Like, what's the point of living existing when you can't see your God in flesh? I'm looking for the answers. They say to pray instead. I think I'll find them one day, but with a helping hand. I know that it's not easy, but I believe I will. Yeah, I'll get over all my fears and really conquer everything. I think I'll be alright, cause I'm not giving up. I'm
So friends, this is one more waterfall. It, actually, it's not like this strong how was this previous one, but actually also pretty decent. And yeah, just don't forget to explore this one as well. So it's some kind of this area you will find and some military zone, you know. So yeah, check this out. Surprisingly, we just uh, we have found some tavern and I believe you can find some beverage here, like definitely some beer and it uh, sounds like a lovely place to, to enjoy this beer and by watching this waterfall and yeah guys, another place, another spot to share with you guys so give me, you know guys Guys, it's almost sunset, and actually, I'm wrapping up my vlog in here. And tomorrow, we're going to head to Montreal. So, yeah, let's make some bottom line about the city. What about the soul of the, the city? I feel like it's not, you know, it's like it's too much serious for me. I understand, like, in government in here, like, it's serious, every, everything, like, pretty great. This gothic style of this parliament hill, it's pretty cool, I should say. Like, that's something I used to see in Europe. But you know, it's like this city like saying, I am a serious guy, I am not going to be fun with you, so that's how it feel, like what is about the soul. But at the same time, it's possible to find a bunch of pubs, like some some nice place to just enjoy and have fun. Like for young people, it's also a good place, it should be. I guess, not sure what is going on here, but it's a bunch of fish, fishes in here, and just some beautiful lady just was uh, walking, walking by in here, and she was saying like, it's possible to see some huge fish in here, like it's even jumping, you know. So that's I've been told like one minute ago. So let's talk about numbers. And what about hotel? What is the price for our hotel? Two hundred. Two hundred and. Ten. So it was like two hundred and ten for one per night. So it's going to be like almost four hundred for us, like two nights in a row. So it's almost. 200, say I believe like 20, 20 bucks or something. So pretty much affordable comparing in like in average here in Canada. So let's talk about homeless people. Yeah, it has, but it, it, it's not a lot what I saw so far. It's pretty convenient ab about this highway I want to mention. Like it's uh, this downtown connected with highway, with our hotel, for example, it's possible to make like in 16, 17 minutes. And it's, it's handy, I should say, like to have such a highway, you know, guys. In, in Toronto, actually, we have also this like highway, you know, but mm, but it's like too busy every time, like it's just crazy, not busy, I should say. So yeah, hold this trip like from some countries to Ottawa, it's actually it's worth it to make it, you know, to explore, especially it's for the first time. A bunch of people saying it's nothing to do here in Ottawa. Like, hey guys, it depends on you guys. If you if you can find something, so you will find something to enjoy, to have fun. So of course it's not easy to make uh, and to visit a bunch of places on this video because we, I'm like with six years old guy, my son, it's not easy because like, you should probably be understand about this. But anyway, I'm going to share a bunch of links under this video, just don't forget to check this out and you will, you will find like some cafes, restaurants, like some place to explore. So just check this out under this video and yeah guys, thank you for watching this one. Don't forget, never stop exploring. You can all and peace out. Bye. Hey, for those of you whole folks who are still watching this video, some final shots and I'm going to make some footage about this sunset. And yeah, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one in the Montreal. Thank you for watching this one. Bye bye.